What's your perspective on all this? Uh, my perspective is, is at this point, he needs to step down. Uh, there's no other option. Uh, I don't see any other option. I don't see any other way the state of Alabama can move forward. Uh, I don't see any other way that we can be productive and efficient in government uh, when we've got this hanging over our head. Uh, it would seem to me to be uh, the best thing um, for him just to step down and let's let uh, Lieutenant Governor Ivey move into the governor's office. Uh, I, I know her very well. Uh, I think she would do a tremendous job. Uh, we just need to have some closure on this. I mean, some closure on this. And, and uh, as long as he's, he's out there saying he's not going to do it, and the more information that keeps piling on, uh, it's just very obvious that that's what needs to happen. And, and as far as the way Alabama looks in America, uh, this is nothing more than a second black eye from the Hubbard problem and and we just keep having these problems over and over and and I would hope that at some point we can we can get people in office that will do what's right and quit worrying about personal uh, benefits well what you're saying uh, affects the rest of the legislative session it does. Uh, in other words if uh, the governor is true to his word and is going to fight it the impeachment process will will disturb the whole process won't it it'll, it'll absolutely shut down the Senate and it could shut down the Senate for the for the duration of our session. We only have 105 days that we have to do business in. If we take 30 days to uh, to get this impeachment out of the way, that will leave us about three or four days at the end of the at the end of the month uh, to get this done. And and that's just not acceptable when we got two budgets to pass. Uh, we've got reapportionment that the the judicial system has told us we've got to pass. Uh, we've got prisons that we're looking at. I mean, there's a lot of things on the table right now. Uh, and this is just a huge distraction and a and a very uh, detrimental distraction. Well, and if this proceeds on into impeachment, that seems like it would be a lengthy process. You're looking at a special session to get something done, aren't you? Well, we could if if the if the House impeaches the governor like I think they will, uh, then the Senate would have to hear that trial within ten days. Uh, and so what that does that puts all the existing business that we have now in the session on hold. Uh, and there's no way that we can get that done in that short period of time that will be left, which will automatically force us into a special session because we have to have budgets uh, by October to, to function. So the governor would be giving the legislative sessions a, a break if he would just resign. It, it would get on with regular business and finish. It would be very helpful. Uh, you know, the other thing that, that can happen is they can decide not to impeach him. Uh, he can, they can find uh, charges against him through the AG's office or through the, the Ethics Commission and then, and then charge him in, in regular court. Uh, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think the House will do their responsibility. I think they're going to impeach him. I think they're going to impeach him very quickly. Uh, and then it falls on the Senate to be the jury uh, to decide you know, whether he is uh, the governor anymore. The one thing that I do uh, want to say, though, is when the House impeaches him, he immediately has to step down, which is a good thing. And uh, at that point, Kay Ivey would at least be the acting governor, right? That's correct.